Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we are going to go over Snowbreak's perilous snowpath event. To kick things off, we will be getting a new five-star operative in the form of Tess Kotkin. Believe it or not, before joining Yggdrasil, this little lady was just an ordinary high school student. If that wasn't enough red flags for you, she joined the Heimdall forces just so she could see this creepy mother Tess's banner will be live on December 14th, 2023 to January 11th, 2024. For gear, the new sniper rifle Eccentric Joker will also make its way to the weapon banner and will be the best in slot for Tess. Don't worry, just like always free-to-play players will be able to earn a pretty good four-star sniper called the Wasp from the event shop, and her logistics set Yardegard Squad will also be purchasable from the event shop. The usual suspects like extra summons, digicash, and revision application will also be available, but there is a new item in the form of a spiritual time holographic model aka a toy car for your dorm. It wouldn't really be a new update without some spicy new outfits, and man did they bring the heat. They look like they're going to a hypothermia convention. The new Mary in Exile outfit will be available for Tess. Ice Dance outfit for Life Wild Hunt. Slope Style Diva for Fanny Coronet. Last and definitely not least snow ride sledding for Yao Winter Solstice. They are 100% dead, right? You can't just go out in 20 degree weather with your cheeks hanging out and expect. Tess and Enya will be getting new rooms back at HQ. And look at that. She hit that creeper with the reverse Uno. Tess, I know a good chiropractor if you're interested. There will also be a login event where players can earn up to 10 summons for login into the game for seven days. We do love to see those. You can grab another five from the event, so free to play players rejoice. Chapter 12 of the main story will be added and we'll see the Starker and the Heimdall forces visit the snowy borders of Yerus. A new boss will debut for chapter 12 in the form of Joseph Hardened. RIP pistol and SMG users. Because that's a lot of armor. On December 18th, the wave-based defense mode Glacial Margin will go live. Their players will have to hold the front against an onslaught of bloodthirsty foes. I'm sure this could have been super fun if it was co-op based, but let's face it, none of us have friends. On December 20th, the Song of Ice and Fire goes live. There we will finally show those pesky white walkers whose boss Sorry, I meant Song of Ice and Iron, bad news. There are no White Walkers. Good news, apparently we have friends now because they added co-op. This will be a boss rush mode, not as exciting as a wave-based co-op mode, but we take what we can get. On December 28 to January 18, Cheng Xing, Ethereal Cloud, and her weapon anti-evil ward makes their return. She is very fun, very cute, and has the personality of a toaster, highly recommended, also coming on December 28 is the Ice Field Outpost Challenges. This mode will be similar to Shrouded City Sweep. So just bring the edgy version of Haru and you'll be all right. On January 1st to January 18th, Endless Battle makes its return. I enjoy this game mode a lot last time it was live. So I am pretty happy to see it back with a new map, no less. That pretty much concludes all we know about the upcoming event. Overall, if I had to judge the new update base on what was shown in the PV, I have to say it looks pretty good. But looks are often pretty deceiving, and it might be plagued with many 10 seconds long missions. So, we have to wait and see. What do you guys think about the Perilous Snowpath update? Skins aside, forget the outfits are even a part of the event. Based on the actual gameplay that was shown, I know it wasn't much, but did it at least get your attention? Sound off in the comments below. This video was made possible by Vic Yush on Snowbreak, GG. Thank you for your hard work, my good sir. I mean, this guy is so creepy. They even added a button to make him invisible, but that just makes things a lot more creepier, doesn't it?